हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय यूट्यूब चैनल इज कवरिंग थ्री प्लेलिस्ट वन इज प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट सेकंड इज एच एंड थर्ड इज मोटिवेशन आई बिलीव ऑल आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड दिस विल हेल्प टू स्प्रेड द अवेयरनेस रिलेटेड टू दिस थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स दिस थ्री टॉपिक्स विच आई जनरली टॉक ऑन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर यूर काइंड सपोर्ट एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज स्प्रेड दिस चैनल to many of your friends and the community and the groups today's topic is on hvac and very very important topic related to lifting shifting of chillers did you see what happens when we install the chillers so how to install chiller with crane is one of the important topic in mumbai where i live from in mumbai where i live the all tall buildings the air cooled chiller specifically are installed on top of the buildings because there is no space the space cost is very high so we use cranes to lift the chiller to lift shift position install the chiller you can see on the right hand side of your screen what happens when you don't take care don't get into the details while selecting while positioning and while actual carrying out the work with the help of crane very very important topic because chillers is high capital cost right the cost is very high the lead time for the delivery is also very high so the cost is one angle second angle is we lose a lot of time if something goes wrong with the chiller you have to wait for the chiller to deliver so it will take 2 months 3 months 4 months depending upon the capacity the brand and from where it is coming right so it's very important how do we handle chillers with the help of crane how do we install chillers with the help of crane this is going to be topic please subscribe my channel and spread it to many friends so let's look at what happens air cool chillers as i said are installed on top of the buildings like this most chillers installation at least in cities like mumbai they are on top of the building the air cooled chillers specifically we use cranes but the cranes have to be first of all selected properly people say that they have 100 ton cranes 200 ton cranes but that is not the capacity which we are looking for the whole point which i am driving here is the the load of the chiller or the weight of the chiller is x now where it is going to be positioned how far the chiller how far the crane will be from the building what angle it will be shifting and at the top of that point where it is going to be installed or lifted up to that decides the proper selection of crane it might be 200 but at that particular distance from the building at that angle and at that height the crane may not be able to lift the particular weight of the equipment so it is very important to find out what is the capacity of the crane but but the capacity to lift the equipment or chiller here in this case at that particular height with this angle that angle is determined from the crane location that angle is determined by the distance of the crane location from the edge of the building so these are very very important crane charts are given by the crane manufacturer we as an engineer must select the right crane with proper safety because we don't want the crane to lift the chillers and then topple it will have impact both on the crane as well as the chiller because both will get damaged so it's very important to get this chart from get this chart from the crane manufacturer understand it properly before you select the crane it is not necessary the height only matters i have seen the accidents where the the height of the building was very very limited the crane was a supposed to lift and install the chillers at ground floor level but since the distance between the building and the crane position is very far the angle became very very steep and then we found the crane got toppled it is also important where the crane is getting positioned the space or the earth is strong enough otherwise crane will go down in the soil if the soil is very very soft if the earth is not mother earth or the area or the space which is going to 
the position is not proper, not strengthened, then chances of crane again getting damaged and obviously the crane chiller or the equipment getting damaged is very, very high. So we must first of all select the capacity of the crane properly by using this chart. Second, where it is going to be positioned needs to be properly inspected so that there are no untoward incidents. Yeah, we also put a lot of strengthening plates below the jacks just to have a proper strengthening there. Otherwise, the jacks go down. If this the, the condition is not good, they might go they might go inside the soil inside the earth. Again, that will also have imbalance in the chiller in the crane. So let us look at some of these you know installations. Look at this installation. It is very very at very very high you can see how the crane is shifting how the cranes are taking the slings along how the cranes are taking the chillers inside how is the inspection of the chillers the hoist inspection happens and you can see number of points which are checked before the crane is come to site or before the activity starts so we talk about housekeeping and lighting it is possible that you are shifting in the night because you may not get permission during the daytime. That plays an important role. Hook is proper. Limit switches are working. There are no unusual signs. There are no oil leakages. Oil levels are checked. Hoist chain is checked. Hooks, uh, hook spring is checked. Wire ropes, very, very important, are checked. If there is some damage there, it can have a disastrous impact, right? The ribbing, the brakes, the emergency switches. Obviously, there is a light on top of the crane which will show that the activity is going on. Who has checked this? The competent person from the logistics or the lifting shifting team has to check this condition before he allows the crane to start operation. As I told you, these are some of the incidents. You can see a, a chiller over here and crane got toppled. See some of the incidents over, over here. See the distance between the building and here. It is not that far, but because Strong selection of crane can impact this. Very, very important video for all of us to know and understand. There are some simple tips with, related to crane safety. As I said, the weight, weight must be carefully estimated. The crane must be fitted with automatic safe load indicator. The crane must always work on hard level base. That's what I'm saying. The base in which it stands, it gets positioned. The jacks where they come, their position, it has to be hard base. The load must be properly fixed and secured. The banksman plays a very, very important role over here, right? So the banksman who gives signal to the crane operator, he has to be very, well trained. The, the communication between him and the crane operator has to be very, very clear, smooth, so that there are no issues in communication, which can also have huge impact on crane operation, crane and shifting of the equipment. So very, very important, the, the bank span must be trained. They should know each other. They should understand the language properly. Never, never be carried. A crane cannot be traveled with the load. It is supposed to be stationed and then the lifting of the load happens or the chillers in this case happens. Thank you very much for your patient listening, patient watching. Please subscribe my channel. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and ajazkazi.com. Thank you so much.